Why Amit Shah is an observer for Uttar Pradesh? If it was just a formality, it could have been anyone. But then why just Amit Shah? The answer is obvious. Because he is Prime Minister Modi's man. He is Modi's eyes and ears. He is a de facto number one in the party and in the BJP after Modi. And that is the reason why he has been named as the observer for Uttar Pradesh. Now, if the BJP today is numero uno in Uttar Pradesh, who is the reason? The reason is Amit Shah. Amit Shah is responsible for the party's electoral success in the state of Uttar Pradesh ever since 2014. He's a master strategist. He's a Chanakya. He was handpicked by the Prime Minister to lead the BJP's charge in the state of Uttar Pradesh. And this is when he was then, remember, the Chief Minister of Gujarat, the BJP projected Narendra Modi as their prime ministerial face. And that is when Amit Shah was handpicked by the prime minister himself and sent to Uttar Pradesh. And the rest is history. We all know how the BJP has grown literally in that state. Ever since the 2014 Lok Sabha elections, then in 2017, when the BJP again scored that spectacular victory in the assembly elections, Amit Shah was the party's national president. 2019 was no different, where the BJP was able to secure here 62 out of the 80 Lok Sabha seats. And the credit again went to Amit Shah. Now, during the campaign for these 2022 elections, a very, very, very important statement was made by the Union Home Minister Amit Shah. He said, that if you want to ensure that Prime Minister Modi returns as the Prime Minister in 2024, you have to ensure that Yogi becomes the Chief Minister in 2022. So doesn't that clearly tell us what the party's plan is, what the power equations are, and the very fact that there is no vacancy at the top. There is no vacancy till Prime Minister Modi is there. There is no vacancy for the top job in 2024. So what is the message? That see, Yogi can be the chief minister. But what matters is 2024. All eyes are on what happens in 2024. Because that is the larger and the more important game. And that is why Amit Shah is the observer in Uttar Pradesh. Now if you remember... Just hours after the results to these five state elections, you had the Prime Minister and Amit Shah in Gujarat. They were campaigning there. The eyes again are not just on the Gujarat Assembly elections that are slated for the end of the year, but the eyes firmly are on 2024. Delhi is focused on what happens in 2024 and to ensure that Prime Minister Modi returns as the Prime Minister again in the next Lok Sabha elections. Let's also talk about what happened in these 2022 elections in Uttar Pradesh. Had it not been for Delhi, had it not been for Prime Minister Modi, for Amit Shah, could Yogi have pulled off this victory all by himself? Yogi Adityanath was hardly even visible on party posters after a few phases. He wasn't talked about. It, it was all Delhi. It was Prime Minister Modi, it was Amit Shah, it was, you know, a whole lot of central leaders who were there campaigning. Though Prime Minister Modi himself was not on the ticket, but with the kind of hard work he himself had put in, it looked as if he was personally invested in this election. Amit Shah, Amit Shah was in charge of the entire Western UP belt, the same belt that had seen the farmers' agitation, the Jat agitation then, and there were fears that how would all that be managed? How would damage control be done there? And Amit Shah did manage to do a significant bit of damage control there. You would recall that meeting that he had with a few select Jat leaders in Delhi. Where was Yogi Adityanath in all this? Likewise, the Prime Minister, especially during the Purvancha leg of the entire election, you saw him in Banaras camping there, connecting with the people, connecting with the voter, taking out those road shows. So where was Yogi Adityanath in all this? Likewise, the tacit understanding between BSP and the BJP, that was worked out by Delhi, by Amit Shah. 
So who takes the credit for what happened and the victory in 2022 elections? Is it really Yogi Adityanath or is it Delhi? Is it Amit Shah? See, this is a question that will be asked. And now when Amit Shah has been named as an observer in Uttar Pradesh, the message is amplified. Who scripted this victory for the BJP in 2022? Will Yogi Adityanath listen and abide by what Delhi says? Because there is a message for Yogi Adityanath personally in the fact that you have Amit Shah as an observer for Uttar Pradesh. So it will be important to see, you know, how this story now really unfolds. And when the entire cabinet will be announced, who will be in, who will be out? Who are those who find a place in the cabinet? Would, you know, would there be people who Delhi wants? Or would there be people that Yogi Adityanath wants? Let's also not forget, as Amit Shah is going to be in Lucknow, just few days ago, the RSS chief, Mohan Bhagwat, was in Gorakhpur. He met with Yogi Adityanath. Now, there are two kind of theories about what possibly has been discussed. One theory suggests that Yogi Adityanath has been asked to work in tandem with Delhi to understand that this victory would not have been possible had it not been for Delhi. And uh, what the second theory is, I'll just let you guess that. But we really don't know what happened. But the fact is, the truth is, the meeting happened. One meeting happened of Yogi Adityanath with the RSS Supremo in Gorakhpur. And now Yogi Adityanath will be meeting Amit Shah. When Amit Shah is going to be the observer who comes in from Delhi in Uttar Pradesh. So it'll be important to see how Yogi also now responds to whatever has been happening. Because see, Yogi Adityanath is said to be a firebrand neta. Someone who's impulsive. He doesn't listen to too many people. So what will he do now? Will he listen to Delhi? Will there be a change in the way he has worked? Is this going to be a new Yogi in 2.0? Because... The focus is clearly on 2024. And Amit Shah as a central observer for Uttar Pradesh clearly has a big loaded message for Lucknow right now. So what will be Yogi's relationship, the working relationship between Yogi Adityanath and Prime Minister Modi, Yogi Adityanath and Amit Shah, the man said to be responsible for BJP's rise in Uttar Pradesh? We are watching that space and that story very, very closely. Again, a quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please go ahead and do that. Also share this video with more of your friends, your colleagues. Let us know what you think about this in the comment section below. Until next time, thank you and bye-bye.